What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of BNB Fishing. And we got a banger for you today, guys. We are back out here working on the boat again. And it's been probably about a week since you've seen the last video of this boat build, give or take. Depends on when I upload this video. But we got all the new stuff in that I said I was going to order in the last video. I'm going to go over and show you everything that I got. But if you haven't checked out the last videos or every video of this boat build, go check them out. They're at my channel. Go check them out. They're some pretty good videos. You don't want to miss them. And if you go ahead and watch those, it'll make a lot, a lot more sense in this video. So we're going to get right into it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I got and what we're going to do to the boat today. So stick with us. Stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So the first thing we got right here is this nice brown box right here. This nice brown box right here. This is actually going to really improve the looks of the boats. Uh, just really glue this brown box on the side of the boat and... Uh, it really make it float better and more aerodynamic on the water, I think. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Which we, what we got in this brown box, though, is we got our, our new fiberglass for our boat on the floor. And this time, I actually got the right fiberglass. I got marine grade, uh, not just regular Bondo brand. But here, I got a lot. Um, here's our fiberglass resin right here. Um, you can go check it out on Amazon. It had some good reviews on there, so... We're going to be testing it out and seeing if it does a lot better. And it came with some hardener right there. And it came with, the main reason I got it is because it came with this much fiberglass fabric. It came with a whole pack of it. And the other one I got was like $20 cheaper than this. And it came with probably a sixth of this much fiberglass uh, cloth. So this right here is going to come in handy because... I can use it on a lot more boat builds than just this one because in the future to come I want to start doing more boat builds and you guys seem to love them so that's probably something I would do so that's this right here was an investment and I'm really happy to have all this extra fiberglass. Then we got is the new sea deck that I ordered because if you guys have watched the last video you already know what happened to the old sea deck but it is what it is. I want to make it right so I got a whole new roll of it right here same color as you can see same design and everything so after we refiberglass it and all stick this back down on the floor where she'll be all looking minty fresh so yeah got that and the last thing we got is we got some boat seats and i'm really happy we got these these are marine raider boat seats bass boat seats right here and they're gray and white and they're really going to match the boat really good they're gonna match the white of the boat and they're gonna match the gray of the sea deck so let me pull these things out for you guys real quick these things are sweet um, I already I already set them up and look and see if they would bolt up right and they'll bolt right in and these things right here are nice guys these things are big too like look how big they are and they're nice and comfy nice and squishy they got nice metal brackets right here and a nice strong bottom so these things are going to look really good on the boat they're going to make it look a lot better so yeah that's all the things i got for right now i'm going to have to order more stuff probably eventually but um i guess for today i don't really have time to do the fiberglass so i guess we're going to go ahead and put the seat the new seats on so Let's throw y'all into a time lapse, guys. All right, guys. So this seat right here is already unbolted because I unbolted it yesterday. But go ahead and take a look at this nice old seat. Nice all dry rotted and nasty and old. And yeah, it's time to get a new one. So out with the old and in with the new. But the thing is, I kind of want to take this hatch off right here and clean it up. I don't know. It has this carpet on it. I'm, I'm on the edge like to where I want to um, take the carpet off and put new carpet on it or just vacuum it off and try to clean it up the best I can but I don't know is this thing can even clean up but I don't really have anything to put on it right now so I don't know we'll see I got one. 
what you want, I got what you need, yeah. Lyrics for your soul, sw sw swinging on these beats, yeah. Point you to the very one that set me, set me free. You should pay attention to the truth you hear from me. I got the key to open the kingdom. As you can see, it's all nice and good. You can lift it up, put the stuff under here in the dry hatch, and flip her up, sit down, it looks good. It's nice and big, more you got more room to sit and stuff, and then you can put her down and latch her on the way home. Next seat. Alright guys, just a little update here. I think I'm actually gonna take that seat back off because I'm actually not happy with this uh carpet right here. Um, the other side was okay, but this side is all wet and nasty and growing green algae and stuff. And I really just want to rip it off and make it look right and clean. So, yeah, I'm probably going to take this hatch off. It's going to be a, kind of a problem because the previous owner has stripped both of those screws out. So, that's going to be a problem, but we'll try to get it off right here and uh, I guess recoat them or something. But I'm, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. And I think it'll be pretty unique and pretty cool. So let's start taking them off. Well, well, where the previous owner had stripped it out and snapped it, it completely just kind of came off, it's like broken. So I'm gonna have to draw new holes in it and put new, put it in new spots. But whatever, it'll be all right. At least we got it off, I guess. All right, we got our angle grinder with our blade on there, and we got our safety glasses on, so let's get to grinding all this old glue and stuff off. Alright guys, we got it all sanded down and nice and smooth and no more carpet left on it. So now, what I'm actually going to do is instead of paint it, we're actually going to put this truck bed liner on there. It's going to be my own touch to it, I thought of it myself. So, uh, um, it's probably going to look pretty good. It's going to be black and it's going to have some nice texture to it and uh, it's going to be nice and coarse and durable and sturdy. So this is what we're going to do. Let me see if I can find some acetone first though. If I do have some, I want to clean that thing off real quick. All right, here it is right here. It's Hercules truck bed liner. I'm gonna shake it up real nice. And get a nice even coat on there. All right guys, it's actually the very next day. Um, this is the hatch that we were working on yesterday. This is it after it has all the bed liner and stuff sprayed on it. And she's all dried up now. So I'm actually going to take it, put this rubber diamond plate, uh, whatever you want to call it, this rubber mat right here. I'm actually going to cut out a size for it and put it right here on top of this. That way the seat is not sitting on this bare aluminum right here. And it'll keep it from getting scuffed up and it'll just uh, keep the plastic from wearing on the seat and everything. So uh, I'm going to slap you guys into a time lapse and we're going to get this cut out and yeah, we'll see where that takes us.
Now that we got the rubber on right here, um, I'm gonna have to let it dry and really bond to it. So I'm gonna put this uh, socket set right here on top of it just to give it that extra weight on there and make sure it really sticks to it. So that way it'll hold pressure on it. So now we can put our cock away and get started on the other one. Guys, it's a few days later now. Um, last time you see me, we were putting the, uh, the diamond plated rubber on the hatches for the seats. So today we are actually going to be doing, we're actually going to be re-drilling holes right here for the bracket because before, because before they were messed up right there, you can see the original holes and how they got ripped out. So we're going to have to drill new holes in this bracket. So we're going to get out the drill bit and out the drill and uh, I'll slap you guys on a time lapse and stick with us, stay tuned and enjoy. Hi right, guys, the camera actually ran dead right there, but we got the seat all bolted on and stuff. She's nice and good, but the only problem is is that the seat is what so much bigger than the other one that on this side right here you can't lift the seat up and get in the dry hatch without putting the seat all the way up and then lifting it up. So. That's a problem, but besides that, the seats look awesome. I'm waiting for the paint on the other hatch to dry. So I guess this is going to conclude this video. I hadn't really got a lot done in this video, but it was a process of really sanding those things down, repainting them, and then drilling the new holes in for it. But that's probably going to conclude this episode for you guys. Next time you see me, the new other seat will be in too. And next video that comes out will be us putting the new floor back in. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go check out the previous build videos. And if you haven't, start from the first one and watch your way up to this one because it'll make a lot more sense for you guys. So, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. B&B &B Fishing, out.